My name is Zoe and I am nine years old. She started at five and music now with everything that she's going through has just basically really been her comfort. We diagnosed Zoe with Sjogren's syndrome, which is an autoimmune condition that can present uh, with certain blood abnormalities such as low platelets, but also things like arthritis. You can also have certain types of rashes. When she was diagnosed, I feel like the whole family was diagnosed because you have to adjust your whole lifestyle so that the child doesn't feel left out. I think especially in pediatrics and especially in rheumatology to help families understand it to help children understand their diseases can be very challenging. A lot of times with things like Sjogren's, because it's rare, it takes quite a long time to have the family become comfortable with the diagnosis. Knowing that it's a chronic disease and it's something that you have to go to the place often, it had to be very child focused. Best example of that, and I think what ultimately made our decision here is the Child Life Program. Um, the doctors are phenomenal, but when I had mentioned it to the doctors, when they brought Peyton in, and that just smoothed everything right away. It made everything a hundred times easier and better. I remember I wasn't getting through to Zoe, and so I thought, well, we went to the bookstore and I got this anatomy book for her. It wasn't a kid's anatomy. I, and I said, Zoe, you know, why don't you read up on this? And so I had this conversation with her doctor and Dr. Trimarki was all for it. And so what ended up happening was uh, on our next visit, Dr. Trimarki literally after her examination turned around and on that paper on the bed, she drew out the immune system, you know, and explained it to Zoe. So Zoe fully embraced it, loved it. I think it's very important when you're treating children that you remember the child is your patient. I feel uh, they take care of me. Our goal as pediatric rheumatologists is to make sure that we optimize our treatments so the only people who know that they have an autoimmune disease or an autoinflammatory disease are the patient and their parents and their doctor. I want to be a musician. One, a doctor, number two, and a mother, number three. And the progress has been amazing from where we started in terms of diagnosis and our experience. I, I would recommend this hospital to any family. She just lights up when she talks about playing the violin and being able to go to Radio City Music Hall. It's a little crazy because, I mean, she's so excited because we saw the Rockettes so Zoe got to see the stage, and so she totally knows how big it is. She's like, I'm going to be up there on that stage. <laughs> like, yeah. I am definitely going to go watch Zoe at Radio City Music Hall. I would not mess up. I'm going to be there. <laughs> Absolutely.